Welcome to Oslo, the capital city of Norway and one of the biggest cities in Northern Europe. Oslo is every bit a modern Scandinavian city, combining progressive design, innovation and sustainability with rich traditions and a profound respect for nature. Located at the head of the Oslo Fjord and surrounded by forested hills, it is a city where modern architecture meets historic sites, offering visitors a range of cultural and recreational activities to enjoy. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, a nature enthusiast or something else, Oslo has something for you. Here are some of the best things to do in and around Oslo. Viglum Park One of Norway's most famous tourist attractions, part of the expansive green space of Frogna Park, is home to over 200 fascinating sculptures, showcasing the emotional and evocative work of Norwegian sculptor Gustav Vigeland. The park is the result of a unique collaboration between the artist Gustav Vigeland and the city of Oslo. The sculptures are organised along the main axis, which is divided into five sections, the main gate, the bridge, the fountain, the monolith plateau and the wheel of life, each narrating a different chapter of the human journey. Each sculpture in the park is a story in stone and metal, symbolising various stages of life, human relationships and emotions, from love and joy to reflection and aggression. The bridge, with its 58 bronze release, depicts the daily life and interactions of humans, while the fountain illustrates the cycle of human life, surrounded by trees symbolising time and space. The core of the park's narrative is the impressive monolith, Composed of 121 intertwined human figures reaching out for the sky, it represents humanity's desire to connect with the divine. It's a marvel of artistic endeavour and craftsmanship, sculpted from a single block of granite. Before leaving the park, call into the Oslo City Museum, located inside this beautiful old manor house. It's packed with photos and artwork from Oslo through the years. Oslo Opera House the Opera House is not just a venue for performing arts, it's a symbol of modern Norwegian architecture and a place of interest and experience for visitors. Resembling a colossal iceberg floating on the tranquil waters, or perhaps a ship coming into dock, it invites exploration from every angle. The striking white lines and glass facade of the structure interact harmoniously with the water and the sky, changing hues with the shifting daylight. Visitors can ascend the building's sloping roof, a feature that really sets the Oslo Opera House apart. This walkable exterior offers an unparalleled opportunity to witness panoramic views of the city, the fjord and the surrounding landscapes, making it a photographer's delight and a peaceful retreat for those who just want to soak in the sights and the sounds of the city and the fjord. While the exterior is a stunning sight, the interior of the Opera House is no less intriguing. The expansive lobby, with its intricate patterns of wood, creates a warm and inviting atmosphere. Here, visitors can gaze at the stunning artwork, enjoy a cup of coffee, or participate in a guided tour to learn more about the architecture and the history of the building. Oslo Library Also known as Dijkman Bjørvika, Oslo's main library is another striking piece of architecture on the Oslo waterfront. Open since 2020, it is very much a modern public library, with public art and lots of space for reading and working. There's printers, scanners, 3D printers, photocopiers and hand tools available for use. Arkushus Fortress This medieval castle offers a journey through Norway's military history. Its strategic location on the city's waterfront provides panoramic views of the city and the fjord. It has served multiple roles throughout its history, from a royal residence to a prison, and now hosts various events and ceremonies. Karl Johansgata The best way to orient yourself in Oslo is to stroll down Karl Johansgata, Oslo's main street, which connects Oslo Central Station to the Royal Palace. Lined with shops, cafes and bars, it's an ideal place to shop, dine or just people watch. The street is also home to notable buildings, including Oslo Cathedral, the National Theatre and the Norwegian Parliament, enriching your walk with glimpses of Oslo's history and architectural charm. The Royal Palace 
Home to the Norwegian monarchy, the royal palace stands proudly at the top of Karl Johansgata. Visitors often admire its 19th century neoclassical architecture while waiting for the popular changing of the guard ceremony. During summer, the palace is open for guided tours. But whatever the season, be sure to make time to explore the palace gardens, which are home to attractive ponds and the fairy tale inspired Princess Ingrid Alexandra Sculpture Park. All the sculptures here were designed and chosen by school children from across Oslo. The Norwegian Parliament Stortinger is the eye catching home of Norway's lawmakers. Established in 1814, the Norwegian Parliament moved into this iconic yellow brick building in 1866. One of the most interesting features is that the main chamber is located in this semicircular section at the very front of the building. Guided tours are available, offering insights into the history, functions and significance of the institution, and providing access to the assembly rooms where key decisions shaping the future of Norway are made. The National Theatre Erected in the late 19th century, this neoclassical theatre exudes charm, with imposing columns, intricate details and statues of Norway's most famous playwrights. Serving as a vibrant hub for the performing arts, it has hosted countless seminal performances over the decades. Oslo City Hall This iconic building is not only the seat of the city council, but it's also renowned for hosting the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony every December. Although best known for its two brown brick towers, the interior boasts remarkable frescoes, wood carvings and artworks depicting Norwegian history and culture. Nobel Peace Centre Next to the City Hall and located inside a former railway station building, the Nobel Peace Centre stands as a tribute to the ideals of peace and conflict resolution. The centre serves as an interactive museum that utilises multimedia technology to bring the stories of individual laureates and the history of the Peace Prize to life. The National Museum The colossal new National Museum is home to one of the biggest collections of art, architecture and design in Northern Europe. Inside, you'll find a treasure trove of paintings, sculptures, drawings and decorative arts from the Middle Ages to the present day. Visitors to the museum can explore works from famed artists such as Edvard Munch, including his masterpiece, The Scream. The museum offers a journey through art movements from classical to contemporary, reflecting the evolving ethos and aesthetics of different eras. Arkebrugge Immerse yourself in Oslo's vibrant waterfront atmosphere at Arkebrugge and Schuvholmen. This harbour area is brimming with shops, restaurants and bars and is a great place to savour a leisurely walk along the waterfront. Art enthusiasts will appreciate the Astrup Fernley Museum of Modern Art and the sculptures outside. Behind Arkebrugge you will find more new waterfront development, including this art project, the Oslo Tree. The Monk Museum Art lovers should not miss the Monk Museum, dedicated to the life and works of the famous Norwegian artist Edvard Munch, best known for his iconic painting, The Scream. The museum's architecture may be controversial, but it has finally given one of Norway's most beloved artists the space his work deserves. The museum houses an extensive collection of his work, including paintings, graphic art, sculptures, drawings and photographs, offering a deep dive into Munch's artistic universe. You can also see three versions of The Scream, a painting, a drawing and a print. There's also a great view across Oslo from the upper floors. Holmenkollen Winter sports are beloved by Norwegians and there's no better place to get an introduction than at Holmenkollen Ski Jump and Arena. Currently being rebuilt at the time of this video, the Ski Museum traces 4,000 years of skiing history. Visitors can also ascend the Ski Jump Tower, for a breathtaking view of Oslo, and for the daring, you can get back down by zipline during the summer months. If you're not quite brave enough for that, a ski simulator will give you some idea of what downhill skiing and ski jumping must be like. If you're visiting in the winter, keep your eye out for live events, as the atmosphere at winter sports events in Oslo is a wonderful experience. It's also worth walking around the area to get a different perspective on the ski jump. You will also discover other parts of the arena such as the biathlon shooting range and some of the sculptures that lie around the arena.
Trails lead up and into the forest, and it will be easy to spend the whole day up here. Holland Chapel is another highlight. Nordmarke Oslo's outdoor sanctuary, Nordmarke is a vast forested area in the north of the city. For those who love to explore, Nordmarke is laced with a network of well-marked trails, suitable for hiking, jogging and cycling, with many picturesque spots waiting to be discovered. In winter, the area transforms into a snowy paradise, with the trails becoming cross-country skiing tracks. Frognesetren, the last station on the city metro's Holmenkollen line, is a popular starting point for summer hikes in Nordmarke. A short walk from the station is the fantastic Frognesetren restaurant, known for its distinctive architecture and fantastic views over Oslo. The Museums of Bugdøy Take a summer ferry from Arkebrygge to Bugdøy to discover some of Oslo's best museums. They include the Folk Museum, the Kontiki Museum, and my favourite, the Fram Museum, dedicated to polar exploration, and in particular, the Fram, one of the strongest wooden ships ever built. Unfortunately, one of Bugdoy's highlights, the Viking Ship Museum, is closed for renovations. It will hopefully reopen by 2027 as the Museum of the Viking Age. Vigeland Mausoleum The spectacular Emanuel Vigeland Museum is a true hidden gem of Oslo, but it's only open on Sundays. Designed by Emanuel Vigeland, the brother of the famous sculptor Gustav, the building was originally intended as a museum to showcase Emanuel's art. He then decided that the museum should serve as a mausoleum. Now a museum once again, the interior walls and roof of this barrel-shaped building are completely covered with one of the most stunning artworks on show anywhere in Scandinavia. The enormous fresco depicts human life from conception through to death. Grunelöcke Follow the river or take the tram north from the city centre and you'll come to Grunelöcke, an eclectic district of former industrial buildings that's now become one of the most desirable places to live in the city. Some of Oslo's most unique cafes, bars and shops are located here, and there's always something to see on an afternoon walk. Sørenge Behind the Opera House and the Munk Museum is a large new waterfront development of apartments, bars and restaurants known as Sørenge. The area is best known for its seawater pool, a popular swimming and bathing spot on sunny days. Live sport in Oslo. For the sports fans out there, Oslo offers live experiences that are not to be missed. The city is home to Volaranga football, and catching a game at the Intility Arena is a must-do for football lovers. But the sporting spirit of Oslo is not confined to football. You can also catch a Volaranga hockey game at Jordal Amfi, the recently rebuilt hockey arena. Christmas in Oslo. December is a less common time for international tourists to visit Oslo, but there's a wonderful festive atmosphere around the capital for those that do make the effort. The central Christmas market is an assault on the senses, with everything from reindeer burgers to roasted almonds on sale. Just make sure you wrap up warm. Oslo Fjord. Cap off your visit to the capital with a serene boat trip on the Oslo Fjord. Arkebrygge is your departure point whether you join a specific sightseeing tour or do as the locals do and take one of the electric ferries over to the small Oslofjord Islands for a swim, picnic or simply to relax. It's easy to get around Oslo on the T-Bahn metro system, the local bus or the blue trams, so you might be able to fit more into your itinerary than you imagine. These were just some of my favourite things to do in Oslo. Whatever you choose to do in the Norwegian capital, I'm sure you're going to have a great time. What's your favourite thing to do in Oslo? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.